wondering what my mother got up to here. She definitely wasn't trying to keep the place clean. Are you sure? I'm willing to turn you, but you need to think it through. You'd become the very thing you've sworn to destroy. I don't know how the Dawn Guard will react. Turning someone is a very... personal thing for vampires. It's intimate. For us. I don't want you to feel like I'm forcing you into this. As you wish. I promise to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. If the fire's still burning in the Imperial City, Ugh, the this smell. is no place for you. Let's try to handle this quickly. Let's keep moving. My ship? What happened to my ship? Where am I? deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Farewell. Need some...
this place. I can't imagine choosing to come here. My mother must have been terrified. Inside. We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Glorious. Serana claims you're her guardian, yet your first instinct appears to be greed. I see that my daughter is still as naive as ever. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the Eye of the Dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molik Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molik Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. It's what some call the domain of Molik Ball, his place in oblivion. It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? No, I will not allow that to happen. The Elder Scrolls only tell of events that might be, not events that will be. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Care, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. I see. You're simply here to stop the tyranny of the sun, despite the cost to Serana. Nothing else matters.
This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Usura, if you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. 